Hey guys, my name's Shane Ziegler. I live in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, and we live on about a 10.2 acre pond. It's about 20 feet deep, and uh, we've had a, a problem with algae in here recently. Um, about this time last year, we had a major algae bloom. The pond turned to pea soup. Uh, all the algae died, and uh, the bacteria uh, eating up the algae took all the oxygen out of the water. We had a major fish kill, broke my heart. The pond was just covered in hundreds and hundreds of big largemouth bass and bluegill. And um, uh, the water cleared up, and um, now we're having another bad algae bloom. It is uh, March 24th, 2019. So now we're having a major, another major algae bloom. After the end of last summer, the water uh, got uh, real gross looking again with planktonic algae. Take a look at it right now. You can see the thick film on the surface and it goes, it's just algae all the way down. Um, it's disgusting. And uh, luckily last spring we did have uh, the fish spawn before the fish kill, so we've had uh, little fish growing up in here. There's probably lots of pound bass and pan-sized brim in here, and we want to don't want another fish kill. So I called uh, Doug at Nature's Pond, and he gave me some recommendations. So after the our fish kill last spring, because we love to swim in the pond, and uh, it cleared up very nicely. And I bought one of these systems from Doug. I just researched it on the internet, and this was just mostly just to, to keep some um, cool aeration around our dock to, uh, to help prevent anything harmful from, from growing. And uh, we loved it. You can see it working right there. It's bringing up, that's in about 20 feet of water bringing up this in the summer it felt like ice cold water coming up from the bottom and actually cooled the whole area around my dock by probably uh, five degrees or so. So we've had a few area biologists come and look at the pond and the main issue with our pond is um, an excess of nutrients. Phosphorus, um, we're in a big watershed here, lots of runoff from roads, fertilizers, geese, waterfowl. Uh, just an accumulation of years of buildup of um, excess nutrients. So one thing is to aerate the pond, but also we need to do something to, to drastically reduce the, the algae or the excess nutrients in our pond. So I called Doug at Nature's Pond again and asked him uh, if he had any recommendations recommend in addition to my syst to what the system that I have I purchased three of these this is the uh, HD 550 and it comes with three of these diffusers they're very simple to hook up all you do is have this PVC and it just plugs right in um, you have a PVC tubing from wherever you have your your machine sitting um, a tube runs to this three-way splitter it has these valve controls on them which you put this sink, this heavy rubber tubing that sinks on the bottom, and that rubber tubing goes to one of these diffusers. I've already set up one of these at a neighbor's house, and we've got uh, three diffusers out spread about um, about 250 feet apart. After the diffusers are in place, what we're going to do is we're going to put this Nature's Pond conditioner in there, and this is a food grade uh, it reduces pond sludge and foul odors it has uh, bacteria and enzymes that actually will uh, just take care of some of that excess uh, phosphorus and nitrogen in the pond and uh, so we're gonna put we got I got enough for three applications of it so we're gonna put one immediately as soon as we get these diffusers out and we're gonna do another one um, here in the uh, end of April May and then we're gonna do another one in the fall and I'll make another video and let you see what things look like. Another uh, precautionary thing we're going to do is after we put the, the conditioner in the pond, and it's very simple, you just take it and you just go around and dump it on top of the fusers, dump it all around in the pond, really simple. And then we have some pond dye, it's food grade, 
And what this will do is uh, tint the water um, a pretty color and prevent sunlight from penetrating too far to help decrease uh, future algae blooms. All right, so we're just kind of getting some close-up looks of the disgusting algae on the surface. And what it's starting to do, luckily we've had a kind of a cool spring. Um, last year was opposite, we had a really warm spring, but as soon as, and what it's starting to do now as it's warming up, is it's starting to thicken up, and pretty soon it's gonna be pea soup. It's that planktonic algae.